welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Tony Pesolano, and I'm here to give you another view of the Trump collection. And I'd like to go into detail with a few things and sort of show off a little bit of the collection because um, some of these items are very rare and you're not able to buy them anymore, unfortunately, after they were cut. So I'd like to go ahead and take a look into some of these rare items and um, let's get started with today's video. So for the first item, um, everything I'm wearing in this video is from the Trump collection except the pocket square. For my pocket squares, I go to Pocket Squares Miami because they have the best pocket squares out there. And they're really cheap and they're all pre-floated and they're all 100% silk and they're actually made right in the United States in Miami. So if you'd actually like to check those products out, you can do so by looking in the description below. So anyway, let's get started into the collection. So I want to talk about this pen that I recently obtained um, on eBay. This is the only one that I could find like it um, from the signature collection. Um, this pen actually is the only one I could find at all. Like, on the internet. Like I saw a few gold ones before, but they were gone a couple, a couple weeks ago. And what's really nice about it is it actually is a wood box, surprisingly. And even though the stuff is made in China, which even though Trump gets a lot of hate for it being made in China, everything is made in China, um, unfortunately. It's up really high quality goods like Ferragamo and stuff made in Italy and France and other brands such as Burberry, stuff like that. So, but you know, it's got a nice engraving. It's got the crest um, rollerball pen. Um, it's a very nice pen. I'll take it out so we can look at it. 10 million years later. Um, so this is what it looks like um, sort of around in my hands. Uh, it's got a nice engraving there, Donald J. Trump. It's got like, Nice diamond studs with gold accent. And I'm actually an idiot because when I first tried to use this pen, I just kept pulling from the bottom. Because um, with Cartier and Cross and other brands, most of them come out through the bottom. But with this pen actually, um, surprisingly, it opens through the top, which is very interesting. Um, very sleek design. And it's actually more lightweight in the hand to use it like this. So this would be a nice pen to use. Um, you know, I would use this pen when I'm doing something important. This pen to me is more of a collector's item, so I wouldn't really use this on a daily basis. But when I'm signing something important, like maybe buying a piece of property, or like dealing with something maybe over $10,000, this would be the pen I would use. So the next item in today's video I'd like to get into would be the Trump Family Crest cufflinks. Now these were listed about two weeks ago and um, I got them for $22, which is a really good deal. Unfortunately, the seller, they came without the box, but I decided to put them in one of my boxes that I had, so it ended up working out because I just thought that these were really important and that these kind of deserve their own little showcase because they are the family crest and it is a really nice design. So if you kind of look and zoom there, you can see that the Trump logo is right there with his name and the crest, the same one that matches up here. Um, it's really a nice design for cufflinks. I really like these cufflinks. I know Raphael over at the Gentleman's Gazette said that um, he doesn't really like T-bar cufflinks, he likes double-sided cufflinks. I mean, I like double-sided cufflinks too. I'd like to try some of those for Belvedere ones. But um, I really like these cufflinks because I just like that they have the word on um, Trump and great well you can't really see them and I don't really want to mess up the box but they have the word Trump engraved in the t-bar and they're just a really nice collection overall these on the other hand this box is a little different somewhere um, these I'll probably never wear they came locked so I'm guessing these were never worn I bought these on eBay used but um yeah brand new as if they came out of the mall um, they were never even cut open interestingly enough. And if you have a closed box, it looks like this. More Family Crest, Signature Collection, Trump.com. Of course, you can't find these products on Trump.com anymore. 
Wow, look at that. These have a nice like um, blue topaz sapphire stone with a uh, nice silver. I really like these. These go good with a blue dress shirt like the one I'm wearing now. Um, now, if you look at the retail price, these were $62 new back in the store. Is there anything on here that says Maisie Spots? No, I guess not. So anyway, um, aside from accessories, uh, I'd like to talk about the suit, um, how I feel about the performance of it and the fabric of it. So I rate the suit overall, um, I'm gonna give it like an eight or nine. It's really hard to like, I'd say eight and a half, like it's really good, like a nine. Like I like this suit. The only reason I wouldn't give it a 10 is because, you know, it's not a tailored suit. It's not made in Italy, you know, it's not the top of the line. But you know, a lot of people, like I read this one news article where he was like, oh, it, um, it was cheap Chinese, all right. It, it was really scratchy. It wasn't really like that at all in my experience. This was the only one I could find used on eBay because they don't sell these in the store anymore. But from my experience, um, it feels like really nice wool. I mean, yes, it's made in Mexico, but it is real wool. It's not itchy. I like that it kind of has a bolder fit on me. I like the way that looks personally. And for the overall part, you're getting the Macy's quality suit. You know, this is the same quality you're gonna get with Ralph Lauren. This is the same quality you're gonna get with those mid-range brands that you see in the mall that sell about suits from between five to $600. Now this suit, when it was new, was $600. And as you can see, this one has a um, luxury tester, it's got his name in it and whatnot. Now this one doesn't have the gold T-bar underneath like some do. That's really what I have to say about this suit. I really like the fit of it. Um, I'm wearing the shirt as well. The shirt, I like the contrasting collars. That's really my signature look. I don't really like to wear shirts that don't have contrasting collars because I think the contrasting collars kind of elevate the look and I prefer to wear them with a pocket square and I think it all kind of works together. And um, like these ties. Now, these ties are really simple. I like the simplicity to it. I like the way the pink goes against the blue because um, I like the way the silk shimmers in the light. Personally, I'm a big silk fan. Um, most of my ties are silk. And speaking of ties, I'm gonna get out this box. Apparently it was a return one, so I only paid 30 bucks, but these normally sell for 90 on Amazon. I will also put the link in the description also in case you're interested in getting one of these boxes. And I highly recommend one of these boxes for ties or belts or anything else you would like to store. And yes, these are all from ties. Um, they're all very colorful. And you know, even how you feel about his politics, like you can't say anything about his clothing because it is all very nice clothing. I think it's all gentleman-like. So the last thing in today's video I'd like to discuss, unfortunately I don't have the box for it because I lost it, it was extremely small, is the tie tack part of their front collection. Now, I don't like tie tacks because they damage your tie and you have to prick a hole in them to wear them. And <laughs> I don't like pricking a hole in my ties, but this is a nice tie tack and if you are somebody who wears tie tacks, it's, it's very elegant, you know. And that's what I really like about this trunk collection because it's not gaudy at all. It's very elegant, it's very professional. Like this is the kind of stuff you would wear in the boardroom, you know, during a meeting or whatnot. So what are you gonna do with those? Uh, let's see, there we go. So the last thing I'm gonna go over here is the gold tie bar. Now, again, this is the only one I could find in gold. Now there are some tie bars out there on eBay if you're looking, but if you want one like this, you're probably gonna be out of luck because I really can't find any ones from this collection in all gold. And I really can't even find any solid cufflinks in gold anymore by Trump's collection. Because over the years, it's just becoming more and more scarce. Um, it was just a really exclusive thing when Macy's had it. 
And yeah, that's about all I have to say for today's video. I think we reviewed basically the whole collection. And I'm glad I could bring this video to you. Um, in my next videos, I'm going to be going over uh, some Seiko watch collection. I'm going to go over my whole suit collection. And I might do a few videos on maybe some Ralph Lauren products, some other brands. This is probably going to be my last Trump clothing video for a while because there's really only so much available that you can discuss that you can really get. So yeah, I just thought I would go ahead and uh, give you guys some content. So thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Hit like, share the video with other people. And if you really want fashion advice, keep watching. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you're notified when my videos come out. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. So very shallow. So very shallow. Bringing the stars together. That's the magic of Macy's.